both my brothers are uh, starting to assemble so you see the guy who is sitting in left he is my another uh, small naik brother bansi hi Kapoor, so what are you doing? Ah, uh, yeah, we have uh, marked all of the uh, places where we have contact, and uh, we have roughened the surface with this, and then we are gonna use the fabric bond glue to attach all of them together. Right? Uh, you are going to assemble the wing section, right? So in this wing section, this is a part. So make sure you roughen this surface and inside surface. And this rod, actually, there is a small uh, spar which is given with the aircraft, which should go. Pull that. So make sure you apply the glue in such a manner that this should be opening and closing one. Okay. So we should only apply glue. Yeah, you should only apply on this part. Yeah. Yeah. Start applying. To put both of the wings done. Yes. Yes. Okay. Tip here for you is make sure. when you glue both of the wings make sure you put this spar yeah, and keep them aside because sometimes there will be glue which will go inside these spars and they won't uh, come right yeah. so make sure you put them together uh, use some kind of masking tape when you attach this one so that uh, you can leave it for curing use masking tape all over the surface wherever you have glued So once you stick this one, and also viewers, once you stick this part, make sure you remove all the excess glue, or else there will become a difficulty for oh. you to put all the spars and other stuff. Yeah. So I would suggest so to. Just... So we have this motor mounted here. We have these pieces that go here. I want to stick these two pieces over here. So I'm gonna use this very strong glue. Uh, so it's really dangerous to for kids to use this so i'm going to use my mama cell topo that's so, a great idea that you have uh, given a nice information to all our uh, viewers out there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stack them together two pieces together mm -hmm. and put the glue in also you don't need to put it in middle in the between Uh, not required. This glue is so penetratable; it goes, it penetrates into the wood Achha. and sticks itself. Yeah. So we have attached these uh, servos uh, using some screws provided, and I uh, we have used. Uh, 9 gram metal servos so i also recommend you this servos because this works good so now i'm going to reinforce the uh, reinforce it using hot glue gun can see it topo now you are going to attach both the fuse slots together right yeah so when you do this there are many chances and many places where you can go wrong get an adult supervision so that you will do it properly because a 1 degree tilt this plane might uh, fly towards different direction so make sure that one so i'm going to help you here okay yeah. and i'm going to tell all the viewers how to do that as well guys now what you need to do is you need to like exploit all the glue towards all the surfaces make sure you have enough glue and this glue takes uh, on this epo foam uh, topo this is an epo foam right you remember yeah yeah on this epo foam model this glue takes minimum uh 24 to 36 hours to dry up fully and it becomes a nice and tight solid bond i'll do it you you spread it i'll uh, don't 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 spread it don't spread it to over it so you need to apply on the both sides so you start applying on this one and i'll take one more and i'll also start applying on that one okay yeah that piece make sure you have an adult supervision who can guide you yeah topo is doing that one i'm doing this one
yeah so we have glued all of uh, all of the parts uh, it'll take 24 to 30 hours for it to cure so i'll come tomorrow and uh, do the mechanisms